My name is David Aguasheru. I'm visual artist, multidisciplinary artist, I call it like that myself. I am Mozambican, so <laughs> it's a pleasure to be in this conversation with you. That's nice for me that I can, sh I can share my, my idea, how I think and I see things in my own way. That's fantastic, David. Yeah. And of course, I saw your work um, at an exhibition where you were very much using different media. So perhaps you'd like to talk a little bit more about that and what you're trying to do with your art. I got invited for Liverpool Biennale 2023. My piece was called Take Away. Take Away because what's happening in my country. Mozambique is a new country. We've been colonized by Portuguese a long time ago. So we got independence 1975. So when we got independence, we started to build our country. And then we start to have these issues now that a multinational company coming to our country to displace people in their land. And because they want to explore all the mineral resources. So displacing people without recomposition, creating a war for the people to, dust, to, to destabilize the country, that they can take what they want. Extractivism is not extractivism about all the mineral resources, or uh, it's about people too, about uh, their culture, about their religions, about their beliefs, about the, you know, about be together, people is one, like long time ago, you know. If you don't have land, you don't have a culture. If you don't have a culture, you don't have identity. If you don't have identity, you are object. For me, I like to bring this issue in my artwork because uh, this thing doesn't go out, doesn't go in the media, the information. It's covered because those people they're destroying our country. They they the one they're controlling this information. Mm -hmm. Sure. So even you search, looking, googly, everything, the database is there, is be created by those people because they have so much power to control. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for me, my, I like this to bring for the people that when to go to my exhibition, you feel what's, what's happening there. It's not direct, but you can just imagine. So you can, be, you can feel cold inside of you. You can feel cold. You, you, you make part of the work. It's what I want for me, to make you uncomfortable. And how, how can you harness that? I mean, you're a multimedia artist as well. I mean, you use lots of different forms. Um, and how can you use those different forms more effectively to put your message across, do you think? We're in difficult time. I can do my best I can. If I put some information in Google or any platform, if it, those people see that this information is not good for them, we cannot find it. Okay. So, <laughs> there are people, the information is not for everyone. That's why information is created. They, they choose what the information is supposed to be there. You've used the word curated, talking about information. How yeah. do you mean to explain to those of us who are watching, you know, speaking to an artist, what do you mean by curated in that sense? If I want information yeah. about Africa, about where I'm coming from, it's not us who wrote the history. The information is there. When you go to Google or to AA, the information found there is information is written by somewhere else. It's been written by colonizer. 
not us. So that's why I'm saying is is courageous. Arguably, you're talking about issues to do with democracy, talking about issues that are crucial to democracy. Do you not see that online resources can actually help you? Can you create, use AI or other online services to bring together people like you to make the sort of noise that you're making with your visual art? I don't believe that the AIA can help us. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. Because, yeah. Because? Because uh, the truth is not there, and then they don't want to see the truth okay. in this platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's about platform regulation. It's not about you don't think you can, things can be brought the issues can be brought together successfully because they won't be made available. Is what you're saying? Yeah, I'm saying like uh, nothing. Uh, the information I'm working on it cannot be this platform. AA cannot help me, and AI cannot help me anything because uh, could be against this platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The true, okay. the true could be against this platform. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> For example, when I, um, I want to talk about, uh, if I talk about AI is good, AI is good, uh, artificial intelligence, okay, but uh, if I put the real information, how, how they get this mineral resource to make a ship for this machine, for this machine learning? So, yeah. we go deeper, because everything sounds beautiful, sounding, you know. but a lot of these mineral resources coming from Congo, yeah. they say Congo, it's poor country, it's what, what, Congo is most rich country in Africa, because they have all of mineral resources. That's why war in the Congo doesn't end. They still slavery in Congo. They're using kids to go to mines to get these mineral resources. And then to build these machines. You know, this machine you know, that we are using for mobile phone, computer, everything. But when I put this information there, the truth will not found this information because those companies they have a power, power, strong power to control everything. Um, David, I, we've talked mainly about your work as a visual artist, um, but I know that you run a design company. Mm. And I wondered um, how your profession is changing, has changed, and how AI may affect that part of your work. For me now, I am like, for example, I am, it's a tough time now with AI. Mm -hmm. Because anyone can just go to AI, write something, and then can AI do the work for him. So mm -hmm. now we start question. As a profession, which position I'm gonna be? You know, as an artist, I start to think as a photographer. Somebody should just go to AI, type some code, and then got nice image, fantastic, good. So we start to question: Where is the artist now? How are we gonna know this book is coming from his knowledge or is coming from AI? understand yeah so this is very tricky this machine learning yeah yeah so it's a question which i don't have answer no 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's just coming and then start to process. So do you think that your clients will know or care whether you've created something with machine learning or AI or whether they know or care that you've created something as David? I think my client just want beautiful things. <laughs> Some of them, like, they don't think if he's coming for AI or it's my man. They just want beautiful things that it's work for them, for their brand. As an artist, it's different. You need more research. You can be you, but in design, something that you can really control. That, that's a very interesting and, and distinction that feels very real. Because again, one reacts as the audience, one reacts to those two things very differently. Okay, thank you very much, David. <laughs> thank you so much. It was a pleasure to be with you. <laughs>